Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. As you guys saw this morning, we went to a really lovely brunch at Gast Cafe in Stockholm. I really recommend it. It was so lovely. We went there with my cousins and had brunch. I'm currently outside my nail girl because I'm gonna go and get my nails done. Also, tomorrow I have a hair appointment, so I'm gonna be fixing my balayage. We're gonna be packing together, get our lashes done together. There's just so much prepping before Dubai. I had some people asking if I'm gonna be permanently moving to Dubai or if it's just like a couple of months a year thing and I don't think I clarified it basically we're gonna be moving there the plan is for a year and then we'll see if we come back home or if we stay in Dubai so just to clarify that because I feel like some of you were giving me some hate for moving out and constantly moving back home and I think I've been very clear every time that when I move out it's kind of like because I want to travel or kind of change my environment it's never been like a permanent move so I don't get why you people were hating on me if I move to Dubai now and move back into my parents that's just a blessing I'm thanking God that I have that if you guys are wondering why my face is a bit off it's because I bought this self tanner because I was recommended it tried it and I didn't love it so that's why my face is just really brassy and like this girl just trying to glow up and imagine this is what I have to deal with right now <laughs> back home and can I just say that my nails have never ever looked this good everything about these nails guys are a 10 out of a 10 and is exactly what I imagined so I'm really really happy I've been going to the same nail girl for years as long as I can remember honestly and whenever I've gone to someone else I've always regretted it just because I love the quality of work she put in and they last for around two months the shape doesn't change and I just love her I'm gonna make sure to give her like a shout out I've been trying to pack a little bit but it didn't go quite well so I need to continue to Today. but first we need to do a face mask i'm gonna put on this face mask from the body shop because it's kind of exfoliating and i'm trying to get my fake tan off so i'm just gonna coat my face i think i'm gonna go down and eat because i'm really hungry so we're gonna let this be on for around 15 minutes and whilst we're doing that we're gonna go grab some tacos i have some leftovers from last night and have you guys seen the trend i guess everyone's seen it on tiktok where like they're cutting a piece of their bread you will put meat here I'm putting one of these like cheddar cheeses this is usually for like burgers and stuff oh my god it feels so weird had to have long nails then i do veggies like that there we go and then I love putting jalapenos into my tacos always because I feel like it's literally a game changer. We're doing this bit and this is going to be really huge. I don't know how I'm going to make it work, but please, how good does this look? Look at the cheese. It's all melty. And then I put a little bit of yogurt just so I can dip it. <gasps> that is so dreamy. Okay. And what I think I'm going to be doing is watch a little bit of YouTube because I've been missing out a little bit. So... This is literally my favorite thing to do. Sit down, eat, watch some YouTube. <sighs> Good morning, guys. Hi, hello, and welcome back to another... I have decided to be productive today and take my ass to the gym because i've been feeling very lazy lately i don't know what it is the only problem we're having currently is the weather because i looked out from the window and i was very surprised and i'm gonna show you what i mean by that uh mm, yeah i mean yeah it, mm. if you guys ever feel not motivated to go to the gym you guys look back at this vlog and you remember that diana went ahead instead of laying in the sofa and watching youtube went out in this weather 
in this weather to go to the gym. The car is freaking freezing, mate. Oh, I literally cannot understand that in one week of time, I'm gonna be in completely different climates where like it's sunny and it's actually not dark 24 seven. I, I just can't grasp onto that. It's just, it doesn't feel real like somehow. Snow is buzzing me off and I literally cannot see a single thing. <laughs> Why am I going to the gym? Am I trying to kill myself? Why am I going to the gym? Why am I going to the gym? from the gym I've prepared myself some dinner I just did like a wrap but I had such a good time at the gym because I was feeling my workout and then when I was gonna leave the gym a subscriber actually um, came up to me and we had like such a long chat and apparently she's like literally my neighbor which is crazy so thank you so much for coming up to me I'm gonna quickly finish this because I need to start editing this vlog and then i'm literally just gonna go to bed guys and tomorrow we have the hair appointment so we're gonna be fixing our balayage and getting a haircut so i'm gonna bring you guys for that as well so i'm just gonna be watching some youtube while i finish my dinner so that's what i'm gonna be doing spending the night working I'm watching YouTube. Good morning, guys. It is 7.53 in the morning. And I had just woken up. I want to kind of start the packing process. This is what we're currently looking at weather-wise. <gasps> My tan is buzzing, bro. Before continuing with anything, we need to be making some coffee. Oh, I really want iced coffee though. Do you drink iced coffee? Fuck it, I'll just drink normal coffee. and I am nearly done with the stuff that I needed to do but I need to be eating breakfast because in one hour my train is leaving because as you guys know I'm gonna go get my hair done today it has been 10 months since I got my balayage done and you guys know how much I've loved it and I've just sweared by it it was like the best thing that I've ever done for myself so I feel like now it's finally done. I actually booked my appointment last month, but my um, hair girl was sick, so she couldn't do me. And yeah, today's the day, finally. And I need to be honest though, she's not gonna be blow drying my hair because she did actually get a operation done. So she's not able to do all that handwork. So this recipe is literally gorgeous for anyone who wants to grow their muscles, that being your booty or literally any muscle. I used to eat this literally every day last summer and my muscles were popping. But then I had an issue with the protein powder giving me acne. So I had to stop. But the way that I do it now is I just skip the protein Sorry, guys, can you even see me? Um, the way that I do it now is I just skip the protein powder and I literally just do eggs. So I just smashed one banana and that's for the sweetness of it. And then you can add how many eggs you like or how many bananas as you like. I'm gonna go for one banana and three eggs, but only like two of them being only the white egg, the, the egg white. So I just use the white part, that being because 
the white part is less calories in it. I'm gonna be adding cinnamon into this. I'm gonna do two pancakes, kind of thick, because I can't be bothered to stand here for half an hour. It's usually these take a while to like get nice. So that's my first pancake. I'm really excited. I haven't had these in ages, ever since like last summer, I swear. There we go. And then you girls gonna enjoy your coffee. I'm not gonna be doing my makeup today. I'm not really feeling like wearing any makeup. Because you know when you go to the hairdresser and they literally wash off your whole life and it's like, why did I even do my makeup? Like usually I like feeling cute when going to the hairdresser, but today I'm just like, I know she's gonna be washing it and she's probably gonna be doing all this. So like there's no point. So yeah, feeling excited, feeling happy, feeling blessed this morning. I think you guys should do that too. The moment they start their day, they're already thinking in the past. Each one of those memories has an emotion. Emotions are the end product of past experiences. So the moment they recall those memories of their problems, they all of a sudden feel unhappy, they feel sad, they feel pain. Now, how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. So the person's entire state of being, when they start their day, is in the past. So what does that mean? The familiar past will sooner or later be a predictable future. So if you believe that your thoughts have something to do with your destiny, and you can't think greater than how you feel, or feelings have become the means of thinking, by very definition of emotions, you're thinking in the past. I have to work the same way, they do the same things, they see the same people, they push the same emotional buttons, and that becomes the routine, and it becomes like a program. Here we go, we have the pancakes, some corks, some berries on top, my iced latte, and I quickly got changed because I realized, oh my god, my appointment is literally in an hour, and the way is an hour, so how am I gonna do it? I don't know, and like, I was expecting to do so many things as well, but like, I don't have the time now, I just literally need to get this into the system and then head out. out of the house i'm currently just making my way to go to the train appointment is in like 45 minutes i think i'm gonna go lighter this time because my hair has definitely gone darker like because of the winter so i'm gonna try ask her to go a little bit lighter also like do a few more highlights we'll see so hot i'm boiling we did some lighter pieces and the front pieces that i usually do and you guys love that and i'm obsessed too we're just gonna wait in this for around 30 minutes and then washing it off and unfortunately we're not gonna do a blow dry because my girl had an operation so she can't blow dry my hair but that's all right so as soon as we're done i'm gonna go home Good morning guys, it is 9 o'clock in the morning, I'm so tired, I've been driving for like an hour to get to my lash girl Cause she lives in my old area and it just takes very long and I insist to change her So I'm gonna be doing a lash lift and maybe a brow lift, I'm gonna see her opinion because my brows are really long Cause I don't like do anything to them at this point and I also insist to kind of pluck them and thread them whatever so we'll see if she thinks it's a good idea for me i'll do it and if not i'll just stick to my lash lip 
but we have that book today and then we have a PCR test because as you guys may know if you're traveling from Europe to Dubai at this point you need to have a negative PCR test taken 72 hours before departure so that's gonna be done today as well and then I do have a pedicure but we'll see if I go to that I'm gonna wait in my car till she grabs her breakfast get to the salon and then we're gonna go and get them done We're done with lashes, brows, and PCR test. Everything went fine. The PCR test was very uncomfortable, not gonna lie. If you guys are gonna do it, just bear that in mind. It's not painful, very uncomfortable, that's it. What do we think? I mean, I love the lashes. I know they always turn out amazing, but this is only my second time doing brow lift. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, I could have skipped it because I feel like this can be achieved with soap brows. And also, like, do I look a little bit crazy? Maybe, yeah. So time is now 12.24. I've just put some gas in the car. And I'm waiting for the time to be one because I'm going to go meet this girl for my pedicure consultation. Uh, I just have so many issues with my toes. I basically screwed them up last summer. Basically, just going to see if she can help me get rid of all the dead skin. And if we can do, like, a really nice pedicure. We'll see. But right now, I'm just going to be chilling for, like, a half an hour. That is so much. I'm gonna go ahead and drive to the salon because I honestly can't be bothered sitting here for 30 minutes Might as well go ahead and drive a little bit and wait outside the salon like a psychopath for friggin 30 minutes Oh my you can see my energy is brutal today. I feel so energized so happy the Sun is shining weather is gorgeous and Honestly life is good. Like I've just been on such a good um, wave of energies lately This is finally the result of the hair. I don't think you guys saw it in my previous clips because as you know, she couldn't blow dry my hair so I had to do it myself. But this is what it looks like. I got soft balayage and cut my current bangs as usual. I like it but I just feel a bit weird with the short bangs because I've never had it this short actually. But I think I'm gonna get used to it eventually anyway. I'm currently in the process of packing. I thought I just need to kind of put a closure to this vlog and upload it before uh, tomorrow regarding the pedicure I went to this place it was actually not even a salon it was their apartment and I thought this woman was gonna do my um, toes but it apparently was her husband so he started talking in Russian and I was like okay I don't understand anything so he's bringing like Google Translate and we couldn't really communicate I just felt really strange and it turned out that he was only gonna do the medical part for me so he wasn't even gonna put like any shellac or anything on my toes so i was like you know what i think i'm gonna have to say no to this and i left off but i just wanted to show you the hair before quitting this vlog and uploading it i hope you guys enjoyed uh following around with me the last couple of days spending at home thank you guys so much for watching love you